Good Sunday guys, good Sunday. What's up? I actually do not feel like doing workout today. I really do not feel like doing it. <laughs> but I know that when you don't feel like doing something, it's the best time for growth. It's the best time to callous your mind. Best time to tell your mind, Hey bro, why not? Let's see what happens. Let's try like one set, feel how, see how it feels. Or maybe just go through the warm up, see how you feel. You can always come to these compromises with your mind. That's the way to go, lah. If you have a mind like me who overthinks, over does shit, not many people have this type of mind, and they are blessed. They take things step by step. But my mind is, I don't know, is a three separated fucked up mind. I'm just doing this for my sake, and whoever is in on the journey, trying to get out of this hole, trying to get out. This repetitive mindset where you know you keep promising yourself shit and you don't get what you want because your mind sabotages yourself. If you're in this journey to get out of that, feel free to tag along. For me, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> Every day I'm gonna do workout, no matter how I don't feel like doing it. I really hope that I can be friends with my mind. I really hope that I can be like, hey bro, we did it. Hey. It's good. Let's take life as it goes and keep going, keep pushing forward, even if it's like a bit at a time. So let's go. I'm a bit, I'm a bit juicy from yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday. So Saturday is is quite fun, but we can only have fun once in a week. Keep our dopamine levels regulated to keep our hunger still there. Let's get on with the workout.
warm up is done. I'm just gonna cool down just a bit before I start. Today I wanna go at my own pace. I realized like the previous few workouts, I was rushing through things, not doing things properly. As I said, I like to go with a beat of boom rap. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. I think that's a very good beat to keep at a steady pace in life. I'm just gonna follow that beat, increase the number of repetitions as much as I can. Yesterday I ate too much. There was like pork dumplings, fried chicken, <laughs> drank a huge cup of soda. Today I don't really feel like eating. I just ate one meal just now. It was tuna, two breads. I got a can and I dumped the can in a bowl. I cut up some cucumbers, chili, a bit of tartar sauce, and salt, pepper, just mix it up i ate it with bread three spoons of that one and two eggs that's all that i ate today so far and now it's 5 p.m i woke up at six something and i drank coffee as well because yesterday i really ate too much man. really really too much i'm not gonna eat that much again i don't know why i ate too much it was like a ghost came over me and i was like Whoa. I eat this, oh, eat this, eat this. Because here there's like night stalls. So night stalls are like people who open up food stalls, like small food stalls, over 200 types of stalls. And I went and I ate. Today I'm not feeling that well. It was all fried food that I ate yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling a bit like, ah, oh, let's, let's just go through the same pace that I intended to go through. I think that should be okay. It satisfies my head mentally as well. My head is like, okay, you can't do this, you can't do this, right? I'm like, oh, calm down, bro, calm down. Yesterday we ate a lot, come to a compromise. <laughs> okay.
Okay, that was set one. Feeling good, feeling, you know, progressive. <laughs> I'm not aiming to be the, you know, the best person. I just want to live life, you know, at a steady pace where I can trust my body, I can trust myself, not be so afraid of everything. Just keep on doing, having persistence, having consistency in the things that I promised myself because all this bad habits right I have to leave it in the past I have to leave it as that was my default self it has finished its term so this is a new growth I have to understand that there are some remnants of the past habits still so I have to nurture it on my own to grow it in a way such that it benefits me as I go forth we have a brain that does feedbacks like you do something you get the reward makes you feel good and you want to do something more right it has a lot of dopamine oxytocin hormones yeah it regulates on a lot of hormones and during my 20s maybe i had a very high hormonal level that's why i wanted to do everything i don't know i have realized this that it's quite self-destructive because it does not allow me to manage my time well it does not allow me to use my time efficiently on the things that i want to work on it does not allow me to progress more as myself right uh, i don't mind like i've lost a lot of friends along the way it's because of that my default self so i don't blame them that's why i'm doing this change i'm saying okay i cannot do this i cannot do this anymore the next type of friends that i meet i don't want that type of relationship i don't want that type of bonds that i had to cut them off just live life at a steady pace where i can trust myself i can believe in myself i can keep on going forward and forward at a good state of mind not a very rushed state of mind now sec two start
work out is done and yeah today i'll just do some massages i had a lot of thoughts running through my head while i was doing this at a steady pace i think that's the reason why as well i kind of want to do things fast a lot of things like i think it's like cyclical thoughts i know the answer to the question that my brain already asked but my brain still asks that it's like just giving a test about something that I know to myself. Keep on retesting myself. That's one of the things I had to deal with. Then another thing is like, I keep on thinking about past mistakes, what I did, what I did not do, what I should not do further. But I know from here, I have to just move forward. Sometimes it's hard. You know, sometimes you just have to breathe it through. Sometimes the feeling just comes. You can't stop it. You can't stop it, but it's okay. As long as you keep on going, keep on taking one step, one step, one step, one step. Should be okay you will go towards where you are supposed to go. In the whole of my 20s, right, there's a lot of distractions. I keep on getting going this way, getting this way, going back, going forward. There was no direction because I wanted to explore. And I did explore. And I'm really grateful for the time that was given to me, the company that was given to me that allowed me to explore and test my thinking onto the world itself. And now I realize that exploration takes a lot of time and you should still explore, but you have to manage your time well. I take Sundays and Saturdays off to explore. It's okay, Monday to Friday. I work as hard on my own self as I can, such that I can attract more, give more, share more, do more. I think that's the that's the thing. One step ahead of the other, ahead of the other, until my whole mind feels like my body feels like like I can move with the freedom that I did when I was five years old, three years old, with a sense of trust in the bodies that were protecting me to have that i have to have full trust in myself full trust in my body whatever happens to me i can handle it emotionally physically i have pushed myself under the level that i have been beaten down by more than a handful of guys for standing on my own point i'm not afraid to stand on my i'm not afraid to die when that happened right when it happened last last year i was in a very distraught state but then now i realized that okay I can actually trust my body. I was bleeding everywhere. <laughs> I had a fight with those guys. I trusted my body. I trusted my body. Whatever God that helped me in this existence, in this realm of existence, I trusted it. After that incident, you feel a bit of oh, distrust against human beings. But then you learn to understand their ways, habits, their goods, their bads. And once you understand them, then you also understand yours. It's like a circle, you know, infinite circle. You hit me, I hit you. You give me pain, I give you pain. It happens. It happens. And it's all because we are all in this sphere, in this sphere of earth. Indirectly or directly, we are colliding. To be at peace with that, I understand that. I'm more aware of how things flow now and how feelings flow within me and sometimes it's it's really annoying right it keeps on like eh, you can't do this you can't do that i know how to differentiate it the pessimistic side and the caring side the darkness and the light and the female side and the male side the mirror side the my side the ego and the soul me the physical vessel i have gone through the understandings of all of that and i realized that as i live my life you know, i should live at my own pace in the end you have to balance the effort that you do for yourself and for others as well you also are able to be a tool that helps them and helps you i used to be very quick to anger this person doesn't understand me fuck you man i'm gonna go on my own way i reflected a lot on this like because it's quite frequent with me i realized that you know i was not allowing people's point of view their worlds to exist with themselves and i was saying that oh i am i am the big part of the world i know this one stems from a patriarchal society that i was born into and also like my ancestors mongoloid blood so they had the innate sense of that i went to actually go and see where my ancestors came from who they were and everything this all has helped me help me in a sense to understand i'm just like everyone else i have pain i have sufferings but the difference between them and me is that i close my doors maybe i should you know just open one door that's why i'm doing this i know uh, other people also have that a lot of uh, sufferings that they don't want to share a lot of pain that they don't want to share because it brings up very hard memories and i feel like even if we don't share it right we should go through those pains try to 
understand it in a different state of mind. Have you ever realized like when somebody drinks alcohol, then they'll be braver right, to say the things that they want to say from the heart because there's a lapse in cognitive thinking. You master your emotions. I haven't mastered it yet, but I understand how they kind of work 60% so I can train my brain to be in a certain state to do something like today I did not want to do this workout I just said ah never mind I just take it a rest but I said I decided to change the state of mind bro it's okay lah just try warm ups and everything see how you feel and I felt good I felt good at this pace and I finished the workout and I'm happy that I finished it it gives me more confidence in myself that I can pull through a certain thinking of mine that actually pulls me down it's necessary to understand pain feel the pain and then try to see it in the perspective try to see it in a different perspective using different states of mind in different state of emotions when you are happy right you agree to everything when you are angry you want to put everything on fire how does this happen it has a common trait in almost all humans right so we are similar in that sense but if we can gain, let's say, 60% of control. I know you cannot gain like 100% of control because you have relations with other people. You have relations with your friends. You have relations with family, right? And their emotions, you can't control them. But you can control yourself. I think 60% is okay. Like 60%, I can change the state. Okay. Instead of feeling that chaotic state fully and enduring that pain again and again and again. It becomes a cycle. You do want that. That was what is important i would say so i think i'll end it at that i'll just do some back back uh crack 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 and then after that over okay peace out